Look, Napoleon, mate, I would love nothing more than to go on a Foster's Bender with you, but you're supposed to be a professional athlete, and I'm supposed to be your boss. Uh, well, look, obviously, mate, we're going to the pub for the Boxing Day test. All right, look, I've got to run. I'm getting another call. Hello? Kyle, hey, how is my director of football? The youth intake preview, and? Well, that sounds promising. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome to Season 8, Episode 8 here at H&W World is on the Impossible Dream, and today we have a huge game in the league against Linfield, because we could draw level with them on points, we'll give you a catch up in just a second, and then we are going to be playing Coleraine in the league as well, a team that we have in the past had to go tough games against but they are struggling a little bit they're not the sort of the team that was in the in the top three a few seasons ago but the big news since last episode is that we've got our youth intake preview and you may remember this past summer we went and signed a director of football I actually think he was I think those 15s used to be 17 so he's getting worse but he's still very very good and it looks as though he has come through for us because look at this youth intake preview we have at least one goalkeeper who looks a great prospect at least one of our fullbacks has plenty of promise we have at least two top prospects in the center of midfield one of our wingers looks to be a handy prospect we have a forward who be considered to be a fine prospect we have one good northern irish central midfielder that's probably one of the two. This is an excellent group of players coming through. Now, if that actually is what we get, we'll wait and see. But I think we can be a little bit excited about this upcoming youth intake. The Well, that preview looks very, very promising indeed, doesn't it? Now, there's two games to catch you up on on the field since last episode, both in the league. The first one was against Glenavon. The only goal came midway through the first half when Fitzpatrick crossed for Wilson at the back post. We should have scored 10 in this one, just the one in the end. You can see they did not threaten us at all through the game. Obviously, at 1-0, there's always a little bit of concern that you have that one moment that could cost us. Uh, McDade did not have a great day in front of goal, despite that match rating. But generally speaking, we played well. And um, the only thing missing from this performance was actually putting the ball in the back of the net. Everything else was as close to perfect as you can get. Uh, next up, it was Cliftonville in the, uh, in the league. Let's see what we could do against them. Sean Simpson's pass and Cardbo's finish gave us the perfect start. Cardbo's second made it 2-0. But Cliftonville hit us on the break to make it 2-1 at half time. Willis picked out Simpson's run to restore our two goal advantage. Before Curtis Coyle. Paul Edgar. And Anthony O'Hare added late goals. So a really, really strong performance, this one from us. Uh, we ended up, well, we just went with wingers. So we're sort of the backup wingers of King and Curry. Uh, now, Curry is someone we haven't seen too much of. He came through the, the academy and potentially is, is quite good. Um, so that's, uh, that's him. He played really, really well. But uh, yeah, as I said, a rotated team and, and we played really, really well. You can see XG... It, well, they scored from their only shot. It was a little bit of a misplaced pass, and then it was a good solo goal, to be fair, too. It was at Taylor that scored it. But uh, yeah, other than other than the fact they got a goal, we were never really in, in any danger of this game. Now, let's have a look at what it means for the league table, because as I said, we have a chance to overtake with a, 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 well, be a two-goal win. We could overtake Linfield and go into second place. Lan with a game in hand, six points ahead of us. We can't afford to drop any more points to them if we want to be in a title race. Um and uh, Glen Torrent are still right there as well. But we can see very much a four-horse race at this point. Um, everybody else has has dropped away. So it looks almost already as though we're going to be in a top in the top four. Um, we want to obviously make sure that at a minimum that that turns into the top three. Now you'll see we've got Cliftonville in the first our first round anyway of the Peaky Blinders Cup. It's a little bit of a tricky tie given the ties you could get away to another Premiership side, but having just beaten them uh, or put six past them anyway you'd fancy us to be able to go there and win that. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens there. Now, let's have a quick look and see what we're doing here against Linfield. We're expecting a 4-2-3-1 from them. All the usual suspects are there. O'Kane, O'Connor, O'Hare, O'Connor. O'Kane, O'Connor, and O'Hare. We've got all the Macs. They've got all the O's, apparently. Um, this is the team we're sending out now. I do want to make uh, just this. Actually, I want to do it for the next game. To make a small adjustment here. We're going, I mean, I've tried pretty much everything against uh, Linfield in the past. What we're going for this time is just 
try to contain them and hope that we have enough about us to get a goal on the break uh, or not even on the break, just get a goal at some point. So it's going to be Taylor in goal for this one. McCulloch, Edgar, Sovawale and Bain. Uh, now we've got a few injuries, which is why Bain is playing this one. Not ideal. It's certainly the biggest test he's faced for us, I'd say. Uh, O'Hare in behind McQuaid and Nick, uh, or well, Napoleon, I should say, in midfield. Wilson and Fitzpatrick in wide areas. McDade goes up top. Now on the injury front, Luca Hall has picked up a bit of a knock. He's out for two days. We've not really fit to go for this one. Jay Williams has got a cold, so he's not available. Melvin Lambert is back from his injury, but you can see they're not really fit. We've got Cardwell on the bench anyway. Uh, and then there's a few um, a few trialers here. Now, I know there was a comment last time around about uh, showing players we could potentially sign. There's two here that I'm, I'm actually thinking we might go and get. So Kevin Goodchild, I think, is looking like, I mean, Mr. X-Ray Vision, but with maybe slightly better passing. So I think we will look to sign him. And the other one is uh, ML Lloyd here. I think he could be a decent box-to-box -box midfielder. So two guys that we have in on loan, and we will probably look to get them in. Uh, obviously, January window opens at the end of this episode. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Connor Hunter and uh, Koate, two guys that we had and have tried to get. Uh, on the bench for them. And of course, Lavery is the one that always, always, always scores against us. Um, what do we want to see? We've been on a good run. Go out there and impress me. Should we try that? Pump our fists. They go out there and make a difference. Um, I mean, we've done it now. Here we go. Away from home to Linfield. It's... Uh, well, it's not a team we've had a particularly good record against. It's not a place we've had a pretty particularly good record of going. And... Um, well, like I say, the, the, the object here is just to try and contain them as much as possible. And hopefully, we'll manage to uh, to get ourselves a goal and nick a win. And if we do nick that win, then I think this is maybe a, probably the biggest test for our title race. If we can get a result, having already got a result away to Lan, um, then you do wonder if, if maybe there is a title race here to be had. Napoleon with a good ball, and it's Fitzpatrick. Ray Fitzpatrick gets a sixth of the season, and we have taken the lead. At Linfield Stadium, Windsor Park, of course it is, isn't it? And it was some excellent work by Napoleon. Look at that, picked it up just inside his own half. Gone past one, gone past two. Look at the run from Fitzpatrick, that's superb. And a first-time finish as well. What a goal, what a start. Or oh, it's not really a start, it's 18 minutes in, but... What a place to be. Let's give them some praise. And uh, one shot, one goal, and we are equal... Or joint points with them now. Here we go with McDade. Fitzpatrick's over him. That's a red card. They're down to 10 men. What a chance this is for us. What a chance. 1-0 up. One man up. Let's demand a little bit more. Thank you, uh, Gary Turpy, for that advice. So the players don't particularly like it. Here we go. Can we get a second goal? And then you'd, you'd make us favorites, wouldn't you? Ball across. Heather to wait. Oh, Sobber Wiley. Go and win that, mate. Here we go with O'Kane. So Wale tries his best. It's off the post. And O'Hare is there to hack it behind for a corner. Uh, I mean, you would say that them down to 10 men, it maybe just turns it into a sort of a 50-50 game. Given the uh, the extra quality that they, they tend to have. But we, we, we're not a bad team now. We have some good players. O'Hare wins that back, kind of. Just holds up Lavery. Come on, boys. Come on. McQuaid, can he stop the cross coming in? He can. It's clean. It's a clean tackle. Cat hair in the nose, of course. Aussie bit, <laughs> bingo there. Can we defend from the corner? We did work on training coming into this one on defending set pieces and corners because it, it drives me nuts when we score, or when we concede, I should say, from set pieces in a game like this where we're just doing, oh, it's a good ball. And O'Kane gets his 21st of the season and we're still in December. That is a ridiculous number. And the 10 men of Linfield have equalized. Edgar just, just caught out, wasn't he? You wonder if Jay Williams would have been a little bit more on his toes there. Let's give them some encouragement. See if we can uh, go and retake this lead. And it's 1-1 at the break. We would have taken that, of course. We do still have the man advantage. Um, let's point our finger. Let's go out there and do it. Let's pump our fists, say we have faith in them. Uh, now, I'm wondering if what we actually want to do here is exploit the flanks. Obviously, being a man down, that is uh, probably what they're going to try and do, isn't it? 
Um, and let's go put some pressure on them as well. Let's ditch the contain them effort for now and and try and uh, actually go and win this game with the man advantage. We'll never get a better chance, will we? When we play them at home, I don't think we'll have as good a chance as we have now against the 10 men. McDade for Cargbo. McDade, we've had a word to him. He's not been in great form. Let's take him off. Let's get Cargbo on. Did I make did that change happen? No. Cargbo, of course, will have to play as a target man. We've got defending to do here first, though. Oh, it's bouncing around. It Oh, go away. I hate Linfield so much, and it's O'Hare with a seventh. Edgar's having a nightmare. Let's get him off. Let's get, uh, so to speak, let's get Matt Moran on. Uh, could Taylor have maybe done a little bit more there? And the 10 men of Linfield have taken the lead. We've got Cargbo on the field. Let's see if we can find him. Fitzpatrick to McCulley. Ball across. Looking for Wilson, perhaps. It was either under hit for Wilson, over hit for Cargbo. Either way, Linfield have it. Ball forward. McCulley plays it down to O'Hare. He goes over top for Wilson. We've seen Wilson score a number of goals like this. It's blocked away. He keeps it in. Can he find a teammate in the box? It's still there for him. And he's given away a free kick. Maybe a little bit silly there. We've got a free kick to defend here now as well. What do we want to say to them? Let's Well, let's save this first, please. Taylor, it is... I'm not quite sure what it was. Let's try a fire up. Um, this game is drifting away from us, though, isn't it? McQuaid easily headed away. And that ends that highlight. Um... All right, well, we need to chase the game. Oh, I didn't hit pause there. Let's wait. We'll wait and see what happens with this highlight. Well, well what we'll do is we'll move Napoleon up to a number 10. And uh, we'll sort of go full attack. Sober Wale and Taylor. I thought we were going to have a misunderstanding there, but we got away with it. Taylor gets it forward. Good ball to find Fitzpatrick, who just gives it away. And Bain can't stop Lavery. Taylor does make a save. And... Yeah, it, it's not it's not gone to plan, has it? Uh, O'Hare, go on support. We need to try and get... Or do we look to get Kundel on? Kundel is box to box. And hopefully, start and turn this game around. If we can get control of it more in midfield, that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Can we get that away, please? We've given away a penalty. You've got to be kidding me. And it's William McQuaid. If he's not missing penalties, he's given them away. And this is turning into a bit of an embarrassment, isn't it? Against 10 men. And it's about to be three. We've made all our subs. And having gone 1-0 up and them going down to 10 men whilst we were 1-0 up. Maybe a berating is in order here. We've let this... This this is a big opportunity that we... We may not get another chance like this. And I think this just goes to show that we're still not at the level of the top two. Can we get one back? There's still nine minutes to play. We could still maybe hope for a draw here if we can get a goal back quickly. All the way back to Taylor. Forward to Sobawale. Across to Bain. I don't think it helped Hall and... Ah, oh, it's poor. I don't think it helped having Hall and Williams missing. I think they would have been big differences. Fitzpatrick's there. Can he pull it back? He can. It's Cargbo. It's saved or blocked or something. It doesn't matter what it was because it didn't go in. Wilson with a corner. Headed away. Picked up by Bain. He gets it back out to Wilson. Wilson, we're just rushing things a little bit. I wonder if we need to slow it down. Come on, boys. Come on. McCulley forward there for McQuaid. He goes forward looking for Cargbo. Cargbo's in. Cargbo can't find the finish. I do wonder if maybe we are just... Yeah, let's go slightly more direct, but just... Try not to rush things, boys. This is sort of last chance saloon in terms of a point, isn't it? We really do need to get a goal and get it soon. That's not the best clearance. McQuaid picks that up. Back to McCulley. Forward to McQuaid. Across to McCulley, Fitzpatrick. Somebody make a decisive run. 
Cundell. We're going other way, boys. Other way. McQuaid out to McCulloch. Fitzpatrick makes the good run. Cargbo's there. Can he pull it back? It's Cargbo. Cargbo is there. It's his ninth of the season. And there's still time. There is still time to rescue this point. 3-2 with four minutes plus stoppages to go. We need that decisive run. It was Fitzpatrick who's been superb today. A goal and an assist. Cargbo nods that in. That's bread and butter, isn't it, for Hamzad Cargbo? Let's demand more and let's see if we can go and get this point. Very attacking. Napoleon over a free kick. It's ambitious to shoot from there, but we do get a corner. Can we get a second goal for Cargbo? It's headed away. Bain should pick that up. Five minutes of stoppages, for four to play. And it's drifting away, isn't it? It's drifting away and it's gone. And we couldn't do anything against ten men. We certainly got a little bit better, didn't we, after the penalty, but... Yeah, uh, that just feels like, that feels like a dagger, doesn't it? And to rub a little bit of salt into that wound, both Glenn and Vaughn, no, both, sorry, Glenn Torin and Lan have won as well. And, ah, uh, back to fourth. So McQuaid suffers defeat against his former team, who he never actually played for. And uh, the Australian boss, who the hell is Jordan Hughes? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Anyway, he's having a look at uh, Napoleon. We, I wonder if we can end up having Hughes and uh, I wonder if uh, him and uh, what's his face, the uh, 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 Sierra Leone manager will ever meet. Keister, isn't it? Anyway, there goes the unbeaten run. La uh, Linfield and that, and uh, well, that's a shame, isn't it, guys? Wait right there. We'll be back to face Colrain next, and hopefully, we'll get the three points in that one. Okay, welcome back. Now, we've had a little bit of hard luck news on the potential signings. The first one is with Lloyd. He's gone off to join Gillingham. He asked for, what was it, about £700 a week for us um, as a fringe player. He went there for a grand. I wish he would have just asked for a grand from us. I probably would have given it to him. Uh, and the other problem is with Goodchild, the other one, he wants almost three grand a week. Now, we've seen our finances last episode. We're losing a lot of money. I can't afford to offer him that contract just now, just in case. Um, Europe doesn't go to plan for us next season. But we did make one signing, and that is with uh, Boyle leaving. We needed someone just to cover left back for us, so we've gone and signed Jake White. Now, it's only till the end of the season. It's a six-month deal, basically £230 a week. So there's really nothing for us to lose uh, in this one. Let's have a quick look at him. He's very much here to be back up. He's not too bad physically. He's fairly strong mentally, actually. He can make a tackle. Um, when that's about it. So he's, we, we may never see him. And if we don't see him, then that means that things are going to plan. He has played in the premiership before and he's played there quite well. So I think as far as the backup goes to the end of the season, there's not really anything to lose from it. Um, but yeah, like I say, we'll just kind of see what becomes of him if we ever do see him. Now, let's have a look and see what we're doing against Coleraine. A 4-3-3 uh, three, three is what we're expecting from them. And this is the team we're sending out. It's more or less the same team, just with a few injury changes. So Taylor in goal. McCulley, Jay Williams comes back in to partner Sobo Wale and Hall is fit again at right back. It's McQuaid and Kundell who comes in for this one. Wilson, Napoleon and Fitzpatrick. Cargbo gets to start up top. McQuaid, uh, McDade, sorry, just hasn't been scoring lately. He's been missing a lot of chances. So we'll give Cargbo the start. And, um, well, if we need to make a change, he's, he's there in reserve for us. Okay, so we can see the lineups. Anybody there? Pierce Gowen is on the bench for them. He'll no doubt come back and haunt us, won't he? But I don't recognize anybody else there. Uh, let's have a look and see what we want to say to this. Just go out there, relax, boys. Um, we'll go with the assistant. He, You may remember we did change assistants for this season, and this guy does seem to be good at motivating the players. But this is a big game for us to bounce back. Now, somewhat annoyingly, but it does kind of help us a little bit as well, is that Lan lost that game in hand. It was against Cliftonville, and they lost it 2-0. Um, so it means the gap to top is still nine points. But frustratingly, it does, of course, mean if we could have beaten 10-man Linfield, um, then that gap would have only been, what, six points to the top, and they wouldn't have had a game in hand anymore. Williams, that's a very lungy tackle, but he's got away with it. Um, so yeah, in a way we've dodged a bullet. It hasn't cost us too much, but it's just, it's it just makes it all the more frustrating. A big opportunity that was missed there. Soba Wale with a good large ditch block. Hall with a good large ditch block as well. And speaking of dodging bullets, he may have got away with one there. Here we go with Napoleon going the other way. He can't quite find Wilson. That's going to get picked up by Williams. He strides forward. McQuaid. 
been a long highlight, hasn't it? End-to-end -end stuff. Fitzpatrick, can he find a ball? Well, he can. It's a good one. Kandel, Napoleon, Wilson. Oh, that's stunning. That is stunning. That was our Sheffield Wednesday side at its best. Passing through the middle of the team. And that was, a, well, in the end, a really good finish from a tight angle from Wilson as well. But look at this. Good passing. Kandel, Napoleon. That's a stunning pass from Napoleon. I thought maybe he'd sent Wilson a bit too wide there, but no such worries. Wilson tucks it away, and it's one nothing. We don't care about offside because it wasn't given, and we've come straight back. Perfect. Can we go and double this lead? You instantly think negative, don't you, that it's gonna <laughs> they're going to go and equalize. But anyway, um, let's see what we can do here. Can we win it back? Hall, can you get a foot in there? He's doing okay, but he looks as though he might be going to get beaten. And... Well, we've already started. Hall just has, in the end, done quite well. Ball in. McCulloch's there. He's beaten in the air, and they have equalized instantly. And that is just so, so annoying, isn't it? We didn't even get a chance to praise them for the goal. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Hall has been stubborn. Wilson has just left his man, hasn't he? He started running upfield. McCulloch's been beaten in the air at the back post. And, uh, yeah, there you go, 1-1. One, one. We cannot afford to be uh, to be dropping any more silly points here. Napoleon has, what's he got, a tight calf. That's not ideal. Uh, let's demand more. I don't think we can leave him out there with a tight calf, can we? Sean Simpson's on the bench. He's fine. He's a good player. And we have another highlight starting with Cole Rain in possession, but Kundell wins it back. Wilson, can Kagbo keep up with him? And if he can, <laughs> can Wilson pick him out? Fitzpatrick's getting forward at the back post. Oh, and it's a penalty. Wilson, how many times have we seen him win a penalty like that? Opposition defenders cannot keep up with him, and it's Mr. X-Ray Vision to take it. Can he find the back of the net? He can. And we've restored our lead, and that is, well, 90% down to Wilson and his excellent running on the ball. And Simpson is proving to be a very, very useful penalty taker, actually. He's done uh, quite well on a number of occasions from the penalty spot. We'll give them some praise before half time, and that should be that. No, not quite. Oh, we're over the allotted time. We don't want to go back level again. Hall is beaten in the air, but over the bar, and that should now be half time, and it is. 2-1 at home against Coleraine. That is, I mean, we've been the better team. I mean, XG's a little bit misleading because we've had a penalty. You're capable of better boys. We'll pump our fists, say we believe in them, and we'll get back out there. I don't see the need to change too much. Um, other than the goal, we haven't seen much from them. We've got a corner. Wilson floats it in, taken comfortably by the goalkeeper, really. And let's see where this highlight goes from here. Ball forward. We don't get to that. Can we win this back? McQuaid, can he get a foot in? McQuaid is deceptively quick. He does do a very good job getting back. That's a loose pass. Fitzpatrick pounces. Simpson. Kandel forward there to Cargbo. Cargbo does his best not to trip over it, really, doesn't he? <laughs> he actually does a very good job for someone who shouldn't really have a good first touch. He's very good at holding up the ball and keeping possession for us. So, um, yeah, we'll let that go. There we go. Wilson's in again here. Wilson. Oh, he's absolutely smashed that into the back of the net. A second goal of the game for him. It is two goal lead. 3-1 it is, isn't it? Not two. I tried to cover that up then, but I probably poorly. Um, particularly because I pointed it out. But look at that. Simpson, a stunning pass. Wilson with the diagonal run and the goalkeeper. I'm not quite sure what that was, but um, like he was trying to stretch out his side, didn't it? Another corner, Wilson. Can he add a hat? A, a, oh, an assist to his goals. Not on this occasion as the header goes over. And another highlight. Now, what we don't want to do, do you hear a sound? That is Morty snoring. He is uh, sound asleep down there. Wilson, can he get his hat trick? Wilson has a go. Saved, cleared away. And ooh, don't get yourself sent off, Williams. And that ends the highlight. Oh, look at that. Balina Millard were beating Lana. I missed that in the first half, but Lana have come roaring back second half, and it doesn't look like there's going to be more drop points from them there. That's not a good goal kick. Wilson to Simpson. Simpson spreads it for Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick is in. Fitzpatrick, he misses. We haven't said that much this year. I tell you what, Wilson and Fitzpatrick as wide players are, at, well, at league level anyway, and maybe at league level beyond the top two, excellent. 
Fitzpatrick with space. He draws a cross in and it is Hamzad Cargo. He's not missing that, is he? A tenth goal of the season, a second of the episode. And will demand a little bit more. But uh, Hamzad Cargo in front of goal with the ball in the air. He's as good as a goal, isn't he? McQuaid with a really good pass to find Fitzpatrick in all the space. Fitzpatrick, I thought he might be selfish, but he's not. He knows Cargo's in the middle. And it's a, well, a beautiful header, unsavable. Put it back where it came from, and that is 4-1. So anybody on the bench, we want to give game time here too. Let's wait till we clear this away, please. Oh, crossbar. Very, very lucky for us there. Um, is it a game to try and get McDade back in the goals, I wonder? I don't know if it is, because we know that we're about to enter January. In January, we seem to play seven games a week, so... We might just try and keep him fresh. We do have Melvin Lambert back from injury or working his way back from injury. He's not really match sharp as of yet. So we do have sort of three good striking options again. Um, that will enable us to do one of two things. Either rotate between wingers and and then and then the two up top formation uh, with the wing backs. Or more likely, it'll just mean that we'll have uh, someone to put on the bench. Here goes Wilson for the hat trick. Uh, and then I can sort of have Melvin Lambert uh, on the bench for every game and then rotate Cargbo and McDade as the two options up front. And I'm thinking that's probably what we'll do um, just to try and keep them as fresh as possible. But uh, yeah, January is always a big challenge for us. But that's a good uh, result there. Annoyingly let them back into the game, but we did quite well in the end and ran away with it. We will say with uh, outstretched arms, well done, boys, and uh, on we go. So, all of the top four have won. In the end, it wasn't too bad of an episode. It's just annoying that we couldn't have uh, gone and finished the job against Linfield. Okay, if we'd taken even a point there, and we really... I don't want to bang on about it. We really should have, shouldn't we? We should have taken something against 10 men and one one goal up. But anyway, we didn't. We can't cry about it. And uh, we look at the league table a little bit closer there. We can see that it's it's the top four, isn't it? Um, we're nine points back of Lan. Is it catchable? Probably not, to be honest. I think we are definitely looking at third. Uh, and if Linfield has a bit of a slip up, maybe we can we can rely on results elsewhere to get us ahead of them. But it's looking as though it's going to be top three, isn't it? That's our fight for this year. But uh, guys, that'll do it for today. We will be back next time for a cup for a shield final. We'll come back for Carrick Rangers and Lan. That'll be a tough one. We've got a lot of games to get through between now and then as well. Hopefully more wins and losses uh, and a cup game there as well. But uh, we'll trust me to get through that and we'll pick up the the Irish Cup once the County Antrim Shield is done. But that's all for next time, guys. If you've enjoyed that, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, well, let me know what you think of that uh, youth intake preview. It looks very, very promising indeed, doesn't it? Take care.